Hi there. In this video I'll be answering a question about electric fields and the motion of charged particles within them. Here's a question from the 2016 CFE Higher paper. An experiment is set up to investigate the behaviour of electrons in electric fields. Part A then says electrons are accelerated from rest between the cathode and the anode by a potential difference of 2 kV. And then we're asked to calculate the kinetic energy gained by each electron as it reaches the anode. Let's give ourselves space to calculate the answer. So, electrons, which are negatively charged particles, are produced at the cathode and are accelerated towards the positive anode. The electrons pass through the anode, which is hollow, then between the parallel metal plates, like this. We'll see later the effect of closing switch S on the electron's path. Now, despite the fact we're calculating kinetic energy, we actually use this equation, W is equal to QV. This gives us the work done on the electron by the electric field between the cathode and the anode. Q is the charge in coulombs and V is the potential difference in volts. The work done on the electron is equal to its gain in kinetic energy, half mv squared. And these two equations are often merged like this in order to calculate the velocity of a charged particle accelerated by an electric field. We don't have to do that here though. So to calculate the gain in kinetic energy of an electron, we use W is equal to QV which equals 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, that's the charge on the electron, times 2 times 10 to the power of 3, which is 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 16 joules. Now in case you didn't know, the magnitude of the charge on an electron is given in the data sheet at the start of the exam. Also, remember to convert kilovolts to volts. Now I'm going to close switch S and see what happens. The electrons are again produced at the cathode and accelerated horizontally towards the anode, but now we have another electric field between the metal plates, which accelerates the electrons vertically. So when the electrons are between the metal plates, they are accelerated upwards, since the top plate is connected to the positive terminal and the bottom plate to the negative terminal of the 250 volt supply. Here's part B of the question. The electrons then pass between the two metal plates, the electron beam current is 8 milliamps. Determine the number of electrons passing between the metal plates in one minute. So first we use the equation Q is equal to IT in order to find the total charge transferred in one minute, remembering to convert this time to 60 seconds. So we get a current of 8 times 10 to the negative 3 amps multiplied by 60 seconds, which gives us a charge of 0 0.48 coulombs. Here's how we calculate the number of electrons making up this charge. We just divide the total charge of 0.48 coulombs by the charge on one electron, like so, giving us an answer of 3 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons. Finally, this is part C. The switch S is now closed. Remember we spoke about this before. The potential difference between the metal plates is 250 volts. The path of the electron beam between the metal plates is shown. We then have to complete the diagram to show the electric field pattern between the two metal plates. And this is our answer. Remember that we'd have a uniform field between the metal plates where electric field strength is constant. This is illustrated by having our electric field lines evenly spaced. Electric field lines indicate the direction of the force experienced by a positive test charge placed in the field. So our lines have to be drawn with arrows pointing downwards. And that's the end of our question. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.